For the last three years, my job has been to look after all the collections that make up the State Library. Some of the books have been in the library from when it first opened on the 26th of January 1889, when it was called the Victoria Public Library, in honour of Queen Victoria's Jubilee. It opened with 1,786 volumes on the shelves, and now there are nearly 500,000 volumes. And that is just the books, which are only one part of the collection today, which includes journals, private archives, microfilm, newspapers, films and sound recordings. If all stacked in a row, they would cover about 40 kilometres. For over 80 years, the library was in Hackett Hall in James Street, which is currently used by the museum. I first worked in this building in 1973, and some of the work we did to look after the collections 40 years ago has not changed, despite the ever-evolving way that information is produced, recorded and circulated. With so much new information being created in digital formats, the importance of looking after the original collections has not diminished, as we aim to preserve and make accessible our documentary heritage for future generations. One of the best parts of my job is to look after our rare material collections. We have some very special things in our collection and many of them are original items. That is, only one copy was ever produced. Other published items might have only had a few copies made and we are the only library in Australia with a copy. We moved into the new State Library building in 1985. Most visitors to the library are unaware of all the treasures we have behind the scenes. It is a privilege to work with our very special collections.